A live look, though, in New York City. Former President Trump dealing with the aftermath, even still, of that civil fraud verdict where he has to pay now more than $350 million in fines. Not only that, the former president is expected to pay more than $87,000 a day until the fine is paid. That all adds up and quick. Host of Sunday Report, John Glasgow, joins us now live. Now, John, despite the judge's ruling, Trump appears to be getting some good financial news. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, you would think with all this bad news, good news, what? Well, Donald Trump, he's been plotting a return to Wall Street since leaving office, but there have been years of delays in regulatory and legal hurdles. Now this is on the verge of becoming a reality, and it could make Trump a fortune. Former president wants to merge his media platform, Truth Social, with another company and then go public. If approved by shareholders, Trump would make billions since he owns 79 million shares in the company. So according to Forbes, True Social share was worth around $100 million last year, despite losing money since 2022. Becoming a publicly traded company, it could earn Trump as much as $4 billion as of today. U.S. Regula regulators greenlit a controversial merger between True Social and a separate company named Shares of Digital World. After the SEC removed that major obstacle holding the deal back, well, stock in the shares of Digital World nearly tripled this year and is currently trading at about $50 a share. This is partly fueled by Trump's political success in the Republican presidential primary and now this merger progress. Trump media CEO Devin Nunes wrote in a statement saying, True Social was created to serve as a safe harbor for free expression and to give people their voices back. Moving forward, we aim to accelerate our work to build a free speech highway outside the stifling stranglehold of big tech. So this all comes as Trump is on the hook for that $355 million fine that the judge ruled him liable for for inflating his assets. The former president now has 30 days from the court ruling to come up with the money. If Trump doesn't, New York Attorney General Letitia James says she's coming for his New York real estate. Watch. If he does not have funds uh, to pay off the judgment, uh, then we will seek, uh, you know, judgment enforcement mechanisms in court, and we will ask the judge to seize his assets. So Trump says that he will come up with the money for the fine as he plans to appeal. As for going public with True Social, a date for a shareholder vote will be set by Friday. John Emma, here's the catch, though. Trump wouldn't be able to sell his stock for at least six months after the merger or even longer than that, which means that the money for the fine that he owes would have to come from someplace else. I'll send it back to you.